Hello guys, so uh, today I'm just going to cover real quick um, uh, AngularJS uh, ng animate to make sure that everybody gets it. It took me a little bit to understand exactly how it works because there's um, when you're working with uh, uh, and today I'm going to cover them using CSS3 transitions because um, they're just really easy and I think most of the time um, you're probably just going to use these rather than having to write your own uh, JavaScript animations that is possible as well. So that's what's going to go down today. Um, I had some trouble understanding it because uh, there uh, there is a uh, uh, naming convention for the CSS classes. So why don't we just go ahead and get started? So I have a little yeoman um, example here that I built. Actually, it pretty much got built for me. I love yeoman. It's pretty cool, and I'm running the 1.0 version. So if you haven't tried that, you might want to give that a try too. It's pretty cool. So all right, don't mind all the other stuff if you've never used Yeoman. This could just as easily. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Reopen, cre actually create a new project and call it uh, ng animate uh, CSS3. Click yes. Open up a new window. Move this one out of the way. There we are. All right, so let's just create a new simple HTML index file. Okay, and <clears throat> I am going to copy some references that I made. So I'm going to add Angular, and you should be aware too that you need Angular JS 1.1.4 and above. <clears throat> That's when the ng animate. Um, uh, the directive was uh, included for the first time. So, one other thing we're going to need, we're going to need our uh, um, uh, our ng view. So we just created. We can remove the class here. We need to um, set ng view and I and also call data ng animate. Okay. Now for convenience. I'm just gonna add my style sheet up, my styles up here. So, ah, control Z, control Z, style. All right, and uh, I'm gonna walk you through the naming convention for the classes. So you see that I have. I guess I, the first thing I should do is cover the events. So the convention here for the argument or or the value I should say for uh, the ng ng animate attribute is the event. And then I guess you could call this the event handler. Although in our case, it's going to be a, um, a CSS class. Okay. So let me walk you through this. Um, AngularJS expects whatever name you put in here for there to be a CSS class called that. Uh, excuse me. So this and this. Slide animate dash setup. Now that is key. Okay, you need to have that. If you name this slide animate, then this needs to be slide animate dash setup. Okay, there's another class that it's expecting. It's expecting uh, 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 control Z. There we go. It's also expecting setup dot. Slide animate start. And now you'll notice too that I put the dot right here, right after. It, you need that because uh, of some browser quirks. I'm not aware of it, uh, uh, of the case, but uh, apparently there is. So I guess basically this just reads that anything with uh, slide animate and slide animate start, those two classes. Um, we'll get this value, but you need to name it like that. So just to make things interesting, I'll call this slide animate dash enter. Okay. Now, because I changed this, it also means that now angular is looking for that. So I got to change all my references. Okay. Um, if I were just to call it slide animation, and 
animation, uh, setup, slide, animation, and then so just to be really clear, because that took me a while actually to understand. I don't think it was very clear in the documentation. It's kind of at least when I read it, it wasn't complete yet. So um, and actually I have this spelled wrong. Animation. So, okay. All right, so, and you don't have to, I mean, you can name it anything you want. You just need to put it here, and then also the add the dash setup, and then also add the this other one here as dash start. So, okay, let's cover um, the actual CSS styles. So, it basically uses um, transitions, which I will post a link to um, the full... Uh, list of uh, CSS transitions and then a list of the browsers that support CSS transitions. Okay, but so let's cover it here. So here I'm saying that my animation is going to last 0.5 seconds. It's linear and it affects all the properties. Okay, so that what's important to note here is that this is the starting value. Even though this is called start, this is actually where the start values are set. Okay, so your ending values go in here. So I want to start off with an opacity of zero, so basically not showing at all, and then slowly show it over the course of 0.5 seconds, show it. And also, I want to set uh, I want it to slide in from the right hand side all the way to the left, so I set I started off at left 100%, which is going to be off the screen on the right-hand side. And then it's going to, in the course of 0.5 seconds, it's going to go down to left equals zero. Just all the way to the left. So it's going to slide nicely right in. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can run this real quick. Um, actually, we're also going to need, because we have ng, we have to actually write our application. So I'm going to just write uh, templates. Uh, I misspelled that. Refactor, rename, templates. There we go. And we're going to do one that's called home. So, all right, there we go. And we'll put some code in here. Welcome to the home page. There we go. And now we're going to write our application. So we better bootstrap our application by calling ng. Uh, ng app and calling it my app. We can name it anything we want, but we're just going to go with my app. And then we'll do a uh, script. All right, and then we'll do var my app equals equals um, Angular dot module my app function. I should include Angular into this too. So let me just grab um, Angular from one of my other projects here. Control C. I'll just drop it in here so that um, copy and paste. Okay. And there we go. Okay. All right. Uh, Angular. Uh, I think that's no. It's not a function that it's expecting. It's just a an array. Anyways, so that takes care of that. Okay. Uh, actually, now we also have to uh, do a route. So uh, my app dot config, and that's gonna take a function and the route provider. Okay. And there we are, and then we'll just say route provider dot when, and we're going to say when it's just the home page, we're going to set the template URL. Oops. Template URL is just this dot templates slash 
form.html. Okay, that's it. Now I'm just going to uh, set up my um, my server. Um, so copy path and let's see here. Bring it down here to my demo. One second, almost done, and restart Apache. And now we should have, we should be able to just navigate to dev.demo and see this in action. And there we are. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. There we are. Okay. So let me put this. Here and there, and you'll be able to see everything working. You see how that slides in from the from the far right? So it fades in. It goes from an opacity of zero to an opacity of one, and from left of 100% to left of zero, all in half a second. Very, 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 very simple. So. Um, I think the key here is to remember the naming convention, which can be, which if you're just starting out or if you're just kind of new to Angular to begin with, um, can be confusing. You don't expect it. Um, so that's the one caveat to be, to be aware of. But other than that, it's actually very, very simple. Uh, I'm going to create a tutorial on how to do this with JavaScript, which is actually really, really simple. Um, so the other thing you should note too is that these events aren't arbitrary like and you're probably wondering well how does it know it's enter how do you know it's not leave or whatever well there is a list of supported events okay and they depend on the um the actual um, um angular uh directives so there's ng view ng repeat uh ng require all those have a different uh, set of events that they trigger and that you can register for. I'm going to call this registering for an event. Here I'm registering for the enter event and when the enter event uh, occurs then you trigger the, uh, this uh, event handler, the slide animation which is defined here in your CSS. So um, if there's really not a whole lot to it and uh, um, it should help you. So anyways that's it, and I will catch you later.